Hey team, how everyone else and welcome back to Four Running Shoes. Uh, Tim, this is the, the third end of the year that we've had on this channel. And uh, as has become a little bit of a tradition, we uh, look at our year in sport that Strava gives us a bit of a recap of the things that we've been up to uh, over the course of the year. I like it. I like to see my year summarized. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'd love to see yours a little later, Tim, because it's been a big year. My, my first thoughts, I know that the start of my year was really great. The kind of first five or six months uh, were really solid and I was getting a lot of my, uh, kilometers in. But the second half has been less good, you know, with injury, I got runner's knee and I got COVID in there somewhere and I've, I haven't really re-established my running routine the last month or so with recovery and um, other sickness and just being exhausted. So I'm looking forward to now that, you know, work's wrapped up for the year to get back into my running routine and also that I'm feeling better. So... Uh, I had a really great first half of the year and then less good second half. I've still got some like really good runs in, but uh, that's that. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing this. Now, uh, Strava changed it this year that you needed to be a subscriber. So a paying subscriber. I've been using Strava for what, five years now? Longer, maybe? Six, no, I don't know. A while and I haven't become a paying user. So I thought, well, now is probably the time I'd use it multiple times a week. It's probably okay to pay the uh, the money. I uh, got 44% off because I did it with this deal, so I'm only paying $100 a year at the moment. Still a bit of money, but uh, I'm looking forward to perhaps reviewing that at some point. Anyway, uh, let's watch my year in sport. So, 2020 year in, 2022 year in sport, as it says, thanks for subscribing, Scott. So let's see what we did this year. Okay, it's loading my data. Okay, year in sport. I'm going to move over so that I'm not in front of the, uh, that there. Uh, 2022 year in sport. Millions of athletes made their mark on Strava this year. Okay, I'd like to know about me though. But nobody did it exactly like you. Fair enough. Here we go. These are total active days. As you can see, it, it thins out a little towards the end. Uh, so it's actually slightly less than last year. I was around 150 last year, uh, but I was one of the most, uh, in the top 10% of active people still, which is nice, but slightly less than last year. Uh, I went fast and I went far this year. Let's see how far I can brag. Okay, so my fastest, uh, Activity, I did a park run, uh, and my longest day, so which was four minutes and three, oh, let's go back. So my my fastest, I almost broke my sub-20. I haven't really been training for it. I want to get a sub-25K, and I got ran one with four minute and three second pacing, which was my personal best, and I also ran my longest run in the build-up to my marathon, which I didn't end up getting, which was, uh, yeah, 28 kilometers. Um... Not shocking with that trophy case of yours. That's, oh, 81 personal records. That's many more than last year, which was great. And I've given lots of kudos and received lots of kudos as well. Uh, more than last year, both of them, which is nice. And um, climbing high. Let's see. I am curious about this one because it wasn't super high last year. And uh, it is greater this year. So I've ran further this year than I did last year. At this time last year, I had run just, oh, like, just over a thousand kilometers. This year, uh, I ran, you know, 1,338 kilometers, but that is less than I was hoping. And I was on track for that, but due to injury, didn't get there. And uh, elevation is much higher than it was last year. So last year I ran about 4,000, just the four and a half thousand vertical meters. Uh, this year, almost 8,000. So that's good. I've been intentionally running uphills more because I know it's good for me. So uh, that's nice. Uh, you've made every effort count, so we decided to add them all up for you. Ready? Yes, please. Let's have it. I was active for 140 days. I gained 7,972 metres for a total distance of 1,238 kilometres. Uh, so I ran 12 less active days than last year. Not a surprise due to all the injury that I've had. Um, you know, there were months at a time where I wasn't running because I was getting... Uh, better. Uh, if I had continued from the trajectory that I was earlier in the year, I would have smashed that. Um, but that's how that goes. Yeah, up three and almost three and a half thousand meters from last year in elevation, and uh, 
more than 200 kilometers than the previous year as well. Wouldn't mind seeing like my speed stats as well, um, but I'm not sure how I would present that. Uh, top sport as well, of course, running. <laughs> I didn't mention that, but there it is. Um, and that is my year in sport. No real surprises. Um, again, I was hoping to run further than I have, but due to injury and sickness, that wasn't able to happen. Uh, I was I watched the my previous year in sport video uh, before making this one, and I spoke about how I was hoping to run a marathon in 2021. Didn't do it due to injury. Was hoping to run one in 2022. Uh, couldn't due to injury, and then rescheduled because I was on track. But then got COVID. Um, so now I'm targeting March of 2023, and if that doesn't happen. Um, which I'm not really informed because I haven't run very much over the last little while due to more sickness and being exhausted and being so busy. Uh, but I'm really eager to get back into running over the summer now that I am, I've got some time off. So March is now my goal. And if that doesn't happen, uh, it'll, I'll probably kick it down the road to the Melbourne Marathon in October. But that's the goal. I uh, will talk a bit more about my goals in an upcoming video. But as for now, thank you for joining me on my yearly recap. Uh, further than, better running than I did last year. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for, but sometimes these things happen. So I'm looking for, I've learned lots and I'm really pleased with the progress that I have made and the runs that I have had over the course of the year. So I'm grateful and I'm grateful that you've joined me on this journey. So thank you for watching. I encourage you to check Tim's video out, which will be out later this week. And, um, I won't see you again before Christmas. So Merry Christmas and we'll, we'll see you next time.